Welcome, collectors. Thank you for tuning in to this installment of Diecast Emporium. Today we're going to be checking out the Conrad 150th scale Caterpillar D6H track type tractor. The real machine came out in 1986, and that was about the time that this model was released to the market as well. So you may think the box is upside down. It's really not. These Conrad and, to some extent, the NCG boxes of the time were a little funky. They had the model this way, the description this way. But then the flaps were kind of odd, and then the multiple ways to say the model in multiple different languages, as you can see here, were facing another way. So it was a little bit kind of funky the way they did these boxes. Uh, here you can see, again, track type tractor Cat D6H, trademark of Caterpillar Cat and the Block C logo. On this side, Conrad, your model number of 2851, scale 1 to 50. And because this model was made in the mid-80s prior to the fall of the Berlin Wall, uh, as a kind of a history aficionado myself. I always love to see this. You can see it's made in West Germany. Authorized model maker of Caterpillar products. And that brings us back to the picture that you see on the side. Another interesting tidbit about this particular model is that Conrad did a bunch of different versions of this. This version has a ripper on it. There's another one with uh, like a smaller tooth ripper. They're, they did one with a winch, and then they did multiple different versions in different cat trade dress. This is in the belt line, the black belt line trade dress. They did one in the Caterpillar Pyramid logo since the late 80s was kind of the transition period for the trade dress uh, when they went away from the belt line into the Pyramid logo. So if you look on eBay or you Google images of this particular model, you'll see many different variations of it. Uh, there's even some variation in the track idlers uh, i think there's a three variation then they went up to five at some point so kind of cool so keep your eyes out uh when you're in a vintage uh antique shop or hobby shop you may think you have all these you just you may not so keep your eyes out all right so let's go ahead and unbox the model I did purchase this second hand from a fellow collector on Facebook. Surprisingly, this was one of a few cat models that I have never owned in my life. So I was really excited to pick this up. See if we can zoom in a little bit on it. There we go. So as I said, it is in the cat belt line logo and this was the first cat d6 to feature cats elevated drive sprocket and another tidbit uh, that they first introduced on the d10 back in 77 so as i mentioned this has the single ripper shank back here if you look underneath the tracks this is what i was talking about this has the uh the one two three four five six so I'm, i said it was five it's actually six there's a version of this that only has a very early version that only has three of these again you can see pictures of that on the internet rubber tracks which actually on a surface with friction and applied with some pretty good force they roll really well uh, again for the, this model's age being well over 30 years old i'm not going to really move the tracks because i really don't want to break them anytime you're dealing with rubber tracks on a model 35 you know years older and, and older than that um, you got to worry about dry rotting issues so really be careful and be cognizant of that the ripper does go down, which again, you got to be a little bit careful of on these hydraulic pistons. But as you can see, it is enough to raise the rear of the tractor off of the ground. We'll raise that back up. Turn our attention to the front of the machine. Here's the dozing blade. Okay, and I'm going to be very careful. It does lower. And there is, with the help of these two cylinders, a little bit of forward tilt play that you can do. So again, for its age, this model is pretty functional. I always just love the look of the H-Series uh, D6 dozers. I just really enjoyed the overall profile of, of the machine. And to be honest with you, the elevated drive sprocket, I love the look that they had on these. Uh, so when one of these finally came available on the Facebook marketplace for a, a price I could live with. I snatched it right up. If you want to see the underneath of the tractor, Conrad logo here, your model number, as I mentioned, 2851 scale one to 50 made in West Germany held together by a single screw. So there you go, guys. That's my review 
of one of my favorite older Conrad Caterpillar pieces. And like I said, one of the few that I don't own. I also don't own the uh, the Conrad 789 off highway truck. One of these days, I would really like to procure one of those and chase one of those down. But again, they can get really, really expensive. And then the other big Conrad piece that I don't have yet is the, I believe it's a 583 pipe layer um, that they made towards the end of their, their deal that ultimately was made by Conrad and then distributed through Norscott again towards the end of their their license so I you know next few years next handful of years I'd like to get both of those all right so the D6H was replaced in 1996 by you guessed it the D6R now obviously this is a newer version of the D6R with it having the power stripe logo this model was first uh, produced by Tonkin Replicas, later refined by Diecast Masters once they required the licensees from Norscott and Tonkin Replicas in late 2015. But if you wanted to have a family of D6 dozers, I gotta say there are a ton of D6 dozers in 150 scale and 148 scale out there. You can build up quite the impressive Caterpillar collection. So that's what this machine was immediately superseded by. Now, if you want the newest versions of the Cat D6, you have two options. You can get the D6 with an SU blade and a three-shanked ripper, shown here. This is made by Diecast Masters as well. I do have a full-length review on both of these tractors that you will see right now, and then the other one that you're going to see here in a minute. So you can always check a look at the take a look rather at the top of your screen right about here ish and you will see a suggested link to check out the review i highly recommend both of these models they're very functional they look very very good and uh, they're just extremely impressive pieces this obviously has the uh, the sweep wraps on it as i like to call it also has the ability to pin up to three ripper teeth on it obviously i don't have any on it now but it's really neat that they gave you the option to leave the teeth off or put them on and pin them in whatever position that you want. So that's the SU blade with a three shanked ripper. But my favorite of the two has to be this version, the D6 XE LGP with a VPAT blade, variable pitch angle and tilt blade. Not only does this model pose well in almost any diorama, but it just looks spectacular. Yes, the top of the cab comes off. You have a small towing hitch at the back. The ladder back here does lower as well, just for more added detail. Again, I can't say enough about these new D6 dozers by Diecast Masters. And yes, they do feature the brand new, uh, newest trade dress by Caterpillar known as the Modern Hex Design. So there you go, collectors. That will conclude this special showcase video. Mostly looking at, again, the classic Conrad Caterpillar D6H track type tractor shown here. But again, rounding out the video, showing you what else is available, or some of what's available in the history and the legacy of the Cat D6 scale model. So you guys let me know down in the comment section below which of them is your favorite, which one of them maybe you own, and perhaps if there's a D6 that you want done, because I know there's certainly one that a lot of you want done that has yet to be done. I hear you. I can already see you guys typing it out. Uh, let us know down in the comment section below if there's D6 throughout the Caterpillar lineage that you want done that maybe hasn't been done just yet. As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and be safe. I'll see you in the next review.